don't just do something, stand there, is what they should have done in the 1950s before we said, hey, let's take all the fat out of everybody's diet. And that is what Ansel Keys said in the 1950s, the uh, scientist uh, who uh, was in the military rations world who changed how we eat and wrecked these, these traditions that were, were lovely and health promoting. He said, we need to take the fat out of the American diet and the science will come. Well, he knew there was no science behind what he was doing. There was a lot of corporate interest behind what he was doing. I mean, everyone's selling something. But our great-grandparents weren't strangers with candy. Our great-grandparents just wanted us to live. And, you know, they wanted relationships with their children. I look back on the video where I'm drinking Tang in a bottle. You know, I'm it's like diabetes in a bottle. I'm being overloaded. My pancreas is being overloaded with, with Tang, with sugar. And they didn't say anything. You know, they wanted... My mother thought she was doing good. I was feeding my children skim milk because I thought I was doing good because the doctors even told me and I'm a I'm a MD I'm a true believer you know I'm like I believe the doctors you know my my mother-in-law my she had wisdom she said no they need whole milk they need fat they need they need a saturated fat to absorb the vitamin D and I said oh no the vegetable oils are just fine they don't they don't need saturated fat because there's enough fat in the diet with all the vegetable oil, the healthy vegetable oil, which we now know is inflammatory. Great. So listen, old is gold is the theme of my channel. And again, if you go back through old family photos, go back through old family recipes, you know, one of my clients was saying, we laughed at my grandmother eating lard. We laughed at her and she lived into her 90s. I just talked with a wonderful nurse the other day who is on oxygen and she is in her mid forties and I know what, what she has sacrificed, you know, she's sacrificed her life, you know, helping other people. Now she's on oxygen in her forties with a lot of health problems. And she said, you know, my, my, my grandmother's 96. She never listened to doctors. She never went to doctors and she ate all her bacon and eggs. She didn't care. And sadly, you know, not doctors, lawyers, and police, people to avoid. <laughs> horrible, horrible, isn't it? But I meant, I meant well as a doctor, but my good intentions were stolen. And I want to try and bring those back. And I, there's nothing wrong with you. It's what's wrong what we've been through and we've been gaslit about how to eat. So this is Dr. Sarita. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope to see you in the next video.